Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do another um, full auto tip, machine gun tip. Um, again, this is for the people that may own this particular weapon or you know, people just wanna know general, uh, what I used to call useless gun knowledge. You know, you, you know it, it sticks with you, it's something good to know, but you really don't get to use it too often. Some of you may have seen this in my other videos. This is my uh, 1918 BAR. It has the A2 upgrade. It, well, it has the A2 upgrade from the factory. I put some World War I stuff on it because I like the way the World War I stuff looks. Um, and of course, I left the A2 by 12 on it because that makes the gun much more effective. The, what this video is about is you have your slow and your fast fire lower. And um, if you're like us, where we have a gun club that doesn't allow full auto rifles, uh, you'd like to go out and shoot your BAR at some steel at two or 300 yards. You'd like to have semi-automatic. Well, semi-automatic lower is the 1918 lower. The unmodified one is, they're relatively expensive and pretty freaking rare. They're probably rarer than the actual amount of transferable and pre-sample BARs out there. So I've got a simple solution for you. The other thing is, the other thing that my solution is going to solve is that if you watch my BAR FND video, one of the advantages to the FND is it has a pistol grip. And if you shoot the BAR at any length of time, you'll know that if you wrap your hand around the wrist, you're going to bump your nose with the back of your knuckles. And so you end up laying your hand like this to shoot the BAR laying prone. So here's, here's a simple solution for that. This is a pistol assembly, pistol grip, uh, trigger housing, I don't know what you call it, what the tech, exact technical term, off a of Swedish BAR. Since Swedish BARs, I don't know how many of you know this, are made to American specs in inches, and they are not made by FN, Swedish parts go right in an American gun. So, what do you get with a Swedish one? Well, first of all, you get a vertical pistol grip. Huge advantage. Second thing, you get a better selector switch. A little easier to use. Third thing you get, you get semi and full, or semi and fast. Um, you don't have to modify the buffer of this gun. You don't have to do anything, but literally take the pin out. I'll set this down. Take the pin out that holds the trigger housing in place. Take this out. Line it up, put it in, pin, I'm going to roll this over so you can see where the hole it came from. I got to get that in there and get that lined up. Oh, that looks like it's lined up. Lock it in place. Now I've got a BAR. The fire semi and full, so if you're like uh, me and your gun club wants to act a little bit like a Democrat and practice gun control, and you want to shoot semi-automatic, now I've got a semi-automatic 1918. Now I have a pistol grip to shoot if I'm shooting, we like to shoot off a bench, makes it way nicer and way more comfortable, and I'm going to flip this around so we can zoom in on it. I don't know, I'm gonna roll that back if you can see this. You get a much nicer, and it still uses the full auto pin and everything. But instead of flipping, you're not actually flipping from fast to slow, you're flipping from semi to full. So there you go, a, a four minute video on how to make your, enjoy your BAR. There are a few people that have these. Uh, they're readily available, not readily available, but they're on the internet. If you've got one of these, a uh, full auto one, this is a super good investment. Thanks for coming through the channel.